So I want to thank everybody for joining me today on June 1 Billion. So today we're going to be talking about something very, very important, and that's Bitcoin. So we're going to figure out is Bitcoin going to replace cash money? So I know everybody's used to using cash money, but what we're going to find out is Bitcoin the replacement for money. Is Bitcoin the new money, right? So I don't know. I like money, and if I don't like cash money, I like credit, right? So Bitcoin is a little different from cash and credit, right? So everybody probably hear different stories about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and stuff like that. So everybody's probably searched YouTube and try to find information about it, but nobody actually explains about it. They just explain how it just just how it puzzles be the new thing, but nobody ever breaks it down. And then when you hear about it on television, you hear about criminals using it. Uh, uh, foreign gangs and governments using it to, to, to steal money and it's untraceable or uh, you invest in it, you lose your money after a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out, well, we're going to take our time. We're going to find out what Bitcoin is. Is it worth it? And sh is it for you? Should you invest in it? Because like I say, in the United States, technically, uh, Bitcoin is not accepted everywhere. So it, it's we're going to see. So According to Wikipedia, Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency without a central bank or a single administrator that can be sent from user to user or the peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin network without the need of intermediaries. Transactions are verified by networks, network nodes through cryptography, cryptography and recorded in a public distribute ledger called a blockchain. Following me so far? So far, I don't understand. Okay. The cryptocurrency was invented in 2008 by an unknown person or group of people using the name Shakoshiki Nakamoto. Probably was wrong, but that's the name. The currency, the currency began use in 2009 when its implementation, implementation was released as open source software. Okay. Bitcoins are created as a reward for a process known as mining. They can be exchanged for other currencies, products, and services. Bitcoin has criticized, has been criticized for its use in illegal transactions, the large amount of electric, electricity, and thus carbon footprint used by mine, mining, vice, price volatility, and thefts from exchanges. Exchanges. Okay, so we heard about all of those illegal transactions. Uh, large amount of electricity because they use all the computers to store the, the stuff. That's why they kicked them out of China and moved them to the uh, United States, uh, which is supposed to be a green uh, country and stuff, right? Uh, and a price volatility. So that means you lose your money, push kind of shut. Okay. Some investors and economists have characterized it as a speculative bubble at various times. Others have used it as an investment although several regulatory agencies has issued investor alerts about Bitcoin, red flags. September, in September 2021, El Salvador officially adopted Bitcoin as legal tender, becoming the first nation to do so. El Salvador. Uh, gotta look at their finances and see if they're like trustworthy. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't invest in what El Salvador is investing in, possibly, right? I don't know. What? So let's finish. The word Bitcoin was defined in a white paper published on uh, October 31st, Halloween, 2008. It is a compound of the word bit and coin. No uniform convention for Bitcoin capitalized, capitalization, capitalization exists. Some sources use Bitcoin capital, capitalized to refer to the technology and network and Bitcoin. Lower case for the unit of account. Okay, so, so far, I don't know about Bitcoin. We haven't figured it out yet, right? So we're gonna go down a little further and see about ownership. How do you own Bitcoins, right? So like I say, me, myself, I don't like to lose money. So I don't think anybody's in the, in the well, unless you're a gambler. So if you're a gambler, you probably don't care, right? But I don't like to lose money, and I really don't like to invest in anything that can lose me money, right? So, because uh, if it loses you money, you don't get to spend it, then it's, it's really for nothing, right? So just say, 
if you take this dollar, right, take this $1 bill and you flip it, and then you got $2 for a dollar, you got $2, right? So you don't want to lose money, right? Okay. So ownership. In the blockchain, Bitcoins are registered to big Bitcoin addresses. Creating a Bitcoin address requires nothing more than picking a random valid private key and computing the corresponding Bitcoin addresses. This computation can be done in a split second, but the reverse, computing a private key of a given Bitcoin address is particularly unfeasible. Users can tell others or make public a, public a Bitcoin address without compromising its corresponding private key. Moreover, the number of valid private keys is so vast that it is extremely unlikely someone will compute a key pair that is already in use and has funds. The vast number of valid private keys makes it unfeasible unfeas that brute force could be used to compromise a private key to be able to spend, spend their Bitcoins. The owner must know the corresponding private key and digitally sign the transaction. The network verifies the signature using the public key. The private key is never revealed. If the private key is lost, the Bitcoin network will not recognize any other evidence of ownership. The coins are then unusable. Wow, and effectively lost. So that's how people say they lost millions of dollars in Bitcoin by just losing a code. So apparently you get a code, a private key, and if you lose that key, then you lose all your money, right? For example, in 2013, one user claimed to have lost 7,500 7, 7, Bitcoins worth 7.5 million at, a, at the time when he accidentally discarded a hard drive containing his private key. So you think that if you had something that was worth $7.5 million, you would know the instructions on how to keep, they, would, they should tell you to keep up with this key. This key is the most important thing to you. They should tell you that if you lose this key, you lose $7.5 million. And I think that if they would have told them that or told me that, I would not have lost that, that key. So if they told him that if he lose that key, he'll lose $7.5 million and he still lost the, the hard drive or threw it away, then he deserves it. But now, if they didn't uh, uh, inform him that he needed to keep up with that key and he lost it, then they should somehow replace that. Okay. So, about 20% of all uh, Bitcoins are believed to be lost. They would have had a market value of about $20 billion at July 2018 prices. So, about 20%. Of people have lost all their money on bitcoins due to losing a private code and then the private code like i say they make it so difficult it's impossible to figure it out <laughs> so once you lose it there's no way you can get it again because it's a one-time code and there's no way they can figure out the code okay so 20 billion at okay so to ensure security of bitcoins the private key must be kept secret if the private key is revealed to a third party through a data breach, the third party can use it to steal any associated Bitcoins. As of December 2017, around 980,000 Bitcoins have been stolen from cryptocurrency exchanges. Regarding ownership distribution, as of the 6th of March 2018, zero point, okay. So, like I say, so, I don't know about the Bitcoin situation. I don't know if I would invest in it. I wouldn't recommend you investing in it because like I said, it just seems like too many people have lost so much money on it. And like I said, we're in the business of making money. We're not in the business for losing money. So you never want to actually lose money. So when you ever come to a situation where you're in a, a, a situation where you're going to lose money, then it's probably not the best investment, right? So, you know, let me know what your advice is. If you invest in Bitcoin, if you're successful with Bitcoin, uh, let me know. Uh, if there's something I'm leaving out, then let me know so I can let my audience know, right? So and, until then, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And we're going to get into the, the next video. Uh, peace.
We got success in the building. Uh, this is June, and he's on the road to one billion. Let's go. Hey, said this is June, one billion, and we gotta make it happen. Ain't no limit, no ceiling. One eight five five June billion. Success is what he wants. Make sure that you check the site, June one billion dot com. Hey, gotta feel him. Ain't no limit, ain't no ceiling. If you ready, then let's get it. This is June, one billion. Woo, June one billion. Hey.